All right, so a common uh, security recommendation that you'll hear is that you should always uh, keep what people will call an audit log. Um, you'll hear different names for it, but the idea is that you should track what's happening on your site. And the logic there is that if you know that everyone <coughs> is doing only secure things that you aren't worried about, you don't really need to do this. If you're the sole administrator of a site, this feature is pretty useless. But if you're giving um, 18 different people the ability to add and remove plugins on your site, uh, something like WP Security Audit Log is super useful. So I've just installed the plugin and it walks me through this wizard. I say start configuring the plugin. I can set into um, a bunch of things. Let's say I'm a geek, although if you aren't, you can go through as basic. I'm going to tell it how I want logs to be retained. I'm going to say six months, which feels fine to me. Um, I typically would not need to look back further than that. By default, only the users with administrator role can access the activity log. Would you like to allow any other users to access it? I'm not going to, um, but that's an interesting feature. I can also exclude certain things that I don't want WordPress to log, um, either a user, a role, or an IP in general. Um, if you're installing something like this, you should probably just track everything. Um, but if you ever needed to do that, that's good to know exists. And then we're all set. Great. Um, and so what will happen when, once I've installed an auto log plugin like this is that I can actually come in and view the log. So there are no events so far. So let's go ahead and work on that. I'll go ahead and change some plugins around. I'm going to uh, update Gutenberg. I'm simultaneously going to deactivate Ninja Forms. And that should give us a little bit of detail to see. So if I come back to the viewer, now I can see that I, as the admin, did that. This really gets more interesting when you have other admins on your site or other users who you would want to watch. So now I've got this, I just switched windows. So I'm now on as David, whereas before I was admin. And if I come into plugins, I can similarly, let's say I can turn on, no, I'll turn off Yoast. And I'll come in and I'll make a post. And it'll be called security risk. We'll publish that post. And then we'll go back and check out what the audit log shows. So if I reload this page as the admin, I'm able to see that David published security risk, that uh, the custom field called link was set to null on that post, and that David also disabled um, Yoast SEO. So that's an example of what you can do. Now the really important thing is that you actually go through and do it, but I like that it actually kind of highlights the severity for you, though I don't know that I agree with the values. That's a really cool thing. You can also turn on a bunch of upgrades um, to this plugin, like many word things in the WordPress ecosystem these days. Uh, you have the ability to upgrade uh, into paid version, and I do like this little icon that he's got where you have logged in users. It's clear it's an upgrade from the uh, menu and you have a couple settings as well. But the basic thing after you've walked through the wizard is exactly what you would need uh, if some security person came to you and said your company needs to have an audit log on a WordPress site. So it's pretty cool. All right, cheers.